This is Loud Boy with Nate, and today we're going to be playing Mario Odyssey, specifically two-player, where I'm going to be Cappy, he's going to be Mario, and we're going to see what happens. I have to admit, he's played this game many times, beaten it many times. Three. He's Yeah, he's very good at it. Three. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this kid's an Odyssey pro. Me, a complete noob. All right, I I don't know anything much about Odyssey. I I tried it once, well twice. Once as Mario. I tried Cappy once and it didn't go very well. Before we get going, I have some really cool toys of the day. Out of my vintage now forty year old Star Wars toy collection, I have Lando Calrissian, specifically in his guard outfit in disguise when he went to Jabba's palace. His helmet comes off. Oh, there's Lando. So this is Lando Calrissian. And then, to go with that, I have Princess, Zel uh, Princess Zelda. I've been playing way too much Mario. This is Princess Leia. She's also, you may remember, in disguise, where she brings the thermal detonator before Jabba. And uh, so, yes, I have Princess Leia in disguise, Lando Calrissian in disguise, both of these from Return of the Jedi, now, 40-year-old toys. Part of my... I actually played with these. Uh, two, and they're actually in really good condition. Um, so, anyway. These are my toys of the day. Princess Leia, Lando Calrissian, and, and uh, in disguise. Nate, what do you have for us? Rosalina. Yes, Rosalina. Very good. Um, and where do we first see Rosalina in the games? He's pointing off to <laughs> in, in Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, we have a special uh, collector coin in a box back there. And it looks like Nate's going to get it. And basically, yeah, it's for Mario Galaxy. I think it was like a promotional thing or something back when Galaxy came out. I can't believe that game now is many years old. Uh, Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Of course, you guys know it from the Switch and maybe... I'm sorry, the Wii. And probably the Wii U. Um, yeah, here it is right here. Anyway, it's a sweet-looking coin. It's got a star cut out in there for the coin. Yep, that's it, man. That's high-grade lead right there. Oh, here, here's some close-up magic. Here we go. So there you go. That. And then Nathan also, Nate wanted to show this. This is our my original... Mario 64 cartridge for the Nintendo 64. And if you've been watching my Ocarina of Time series, where I'm doing a complete playthrough, it's on my channel on Loud Boy. Um, basically, yeah, I've shown off my uh, original Nintendo 64. And man, I was so excited when that system was coming because um, I was very excited. And I actually, before it came out, stores actually had controllers. And games available. So I, I was buying up controllers and games before the actual N64 system came out. So anyway, I still have that original system. But yeah, this is uh, Mario 64. I mean, the 3D environments and worlds changed everything. Um, from Ocarina to Mario 64, uh, Star Fox 64. Very cool stuff. So Nate wanted to show off that today. And without further ado, we're going to play some Mario Odyssey. You guys ready? All right, let's go. Take us away, Nate. In the sky. Oh, we're actually in the skies above Peach's castle. Mario! 
<laughs> She's That's her catchphrase. It really is. I'm sorry, the princess. Doesn't that remind you of the Mario movie a little bit? We need to watch that again. Time for my wedding with Peach. Jealous Mario? Does it? Oh. Oh no. Oh. It's a sentient hat. Also, you know, it's just sitting right in front of him. Yes. So at some point, I'll actually get to play. Oh, that's a good thing. All right, let me know when I can join. <laughs> I love the charcoal color ground. Or is it supposed to be like black and white? It's a cool color scheme. Sorry for running away like that. You startled me, and I do startle easily. I saw what happened earlier. You've been in quite, a, quite the ringer. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same Bowser monster that gave you such a trouncing. And to make matters worse, the Fiend has kidnapped my little sister. <laughs> oh, he has a personal stake in this, then, doesn't he? Mario's worried about Peach. Cappy's worried about it. I'd hope to give chase to that monster, Bowser, in his ship of my own. Unfortunately, all of our airships were wrecked in the attack. <laughs> Although now that I think on it, I'm fairly certain there's a functioning ship in the next kingdom over. I could get us there. If only I could reach the top of Hat Tower, which is being guarded by the monster, Bowser's henchman. You know, it seems we're after the same thing. Perhaps we should team up. Let's see if we can, can help my sister and Peach. Help those two. Yeah, your, your hat's gone, dude. <laughs> Not your style? How about this? Oh, this is, oh, that's so cool. There it is. That, yes. Yes, Nate has that very hat. And there it is. It's Super Nate. Try throwing me with Y. Alright, let me know when I can join. Alright, so you use Cappy to actually throw switches and do stuff? Can you slide down that? Nice work. Oh, you're rolling. Fancy. Goombas, there's always Goombas out there. All right. I meant to do a wrong jump. This is inside that tower. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Okay, this is how they're showing how Mario enters the consciousness of a frog. Or something to that effect. That's quite the journey. 
It's more of an inward journey, and Galaxy was an outward journey. The next time we, the next time we uh, see uh, this type of cutscene. Uh, You've captured a frog. Oh, are you? All right, so you. Go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Mm. I mean, possibly. However, I think it would be lovely if some people that are watching this, you know, had never even played Galaxy. It's very possible. So this is very new. So yeah, you get to hop like a frog, and you're actually you're shaking your controller. What does shaking your controller do? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can high jump just by shaking. Because yeah, the, we can't see that on camera, but yeah, you're down here. Yeah, you're shaking. There it is. You're shaking. It also throws your hands. Cool. So it has motion controls built in. Love it. It was it was one of the first, yeah, I believe. But the whole motion control thing, there was some camera manipulation with the DS, but then they they took it to the next level with the Wii, right? The, the nunchuck and the Wii mode. That's where it got really into hardcore motion control. Oh, who are these guys? The what? The Brutals? Guess we ought to introduce ourselves. We're the wedding planners for a happy couple. They call us the Brutals. We got that little chick. What's her name? Does she have a name? Tiara. We have Tiara treasure we needed. What? <laughs> so we ain't gonna... No more business in these parts. <laughs> of course, roughing up goody two shoes, meddlers was in the contract. So I guess we still got a little work to do. The way they wrote that, it's not easy to read. I said so this is like the first boss, sort of. All right. So what do you have to do? You have to like uh, ground pound his head. And then take care of those hats. Oh, no. Okay, that way you have to knock the hats off. That way you can actually hit his head. Is that it? Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. He was quite the brutal. Uh, you know, next, that took you all of thirty seconds. Go ahead. What is this? You can become electricity. We have a title screen. You see that in the background? I customized. Did you just skip it? No. Cascade Kingdom, Fossil Falls. Here we go. All right, so that, when can I become Cappy? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you wanted to play, Dad. <laughs> well, I, I didn't get to read that, but that's okay. I said so it's actually. It said our first power two player. Oh, you're okay. So you can actually switch to two player. Just press back. No, we can't do, use two pro controllers. Oh yeah, we can. We can. Just turn yours on. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait, hold on. I'm controlling Mario now. Uh, no, no, you are. No, I'm jumping. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay. Here, take my controller. I'll take this one. So now I'm happy. Yeah, okay. Now, we got it. We got it. Can you still throw the hats? You can. 
so we, in a way we both have control of the hat. Okay. Ooh. And what is that called? Right there. Power move. Okay. His, his promise. No, it's a wonderful oh, creation. Well, I'll get you. Yeah, remind me. I know. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, there it is. It's looking a bit more rough than I'd expected. Oh, no. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Just throw. Throw the hat. What, I didn't... Did you push me? I did. <laughs> I threw the hat. Is that okay? Alright. Alright, so that was a wall jump. I know what that is. Am I messing you up? Oh, I did that. And now we are at Chain Shop. That is so cool. What is that up ahead? That's an 8-bit 2D scroller thing? Oh, dude, that's cool. Oh, you have to admit, that's super cool. Oh my, we've gone flat. <laughs> and rather blocky. We are kicking it old school now. This is NES stuff. No. no there's no capping in NES world. So to get through that wall... Oh, you're just gonna... Wall jump it. You don't even... Yeah. Oh, there she is. I remember you telling me about her. And she has a golden chain chomp, too. It's either Madame Brutal or Madame Brutal. What's this? You say you need to repair some silly old ship? Why, I can never part with any of my precious power moons. It sounds to me like someone wants to be snack for my adorable little chain chompings. Too much? <laughs> okay, my <laughs> I never said it was the perfect narrator. Alright, th I did that. Alright, so yeah. Oh, that's cool. You just smack her right in the mug. Oh, almost. Let me help you. There we go. You're so good at this, so quick and proficient with this game that there's very little for me to do. But I'm trying to I'm trying to help as I can. Yeah, I, I did that. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the trick is to keep away from her and then three hits. What a world, what a world. So is that three more power moons? Next kingdom. We get to go to another kingdom next? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, he did the jump. That was cool. So is that a, it's as strong as three power moons. Let's see if we can make this work. Throw me to that globe. 
Yeah, I did that. Well, I want to contribute some. <laughs> oh, it looks like we have, what, one more section to go? Do we need five total? It says there's still more power moves. Okay. I'm, I'm coming on you, Nate, because I have no... Oh, boy. Oh, there we go. I'm counting on you to uh, guide us through these. Oh, oh. Okay, that, that was easy. You got a power move above the cliff. That's a cool trick. And that would be five. Oh! Did that power move just go? We have a full sail now. Possibly. Look at that. What? The Odyssey is restored. Alright, so this shows the full map, I take it, right? Why don't you take the helm, just select the Sand Kingdom, press A, and we'll be off. Oh, cool. Alright, so that's the map, and then that's how you choose different levels. Got it. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. All right. Look, you need time to talk with Mario. Got it. All right. So the Odyssey is that what the ship is called? Got it. Cappy ship. Mm-hmm. Go to the Sand Kingdom. I'm not lying here, but I skip all the cutscenes. Normally. But I'm not to... No, yeah, it's cool to see them. It gives us a full game experience. And it also gets me to faster see. Of course. Oh, there it says that. So, how do you like me as, as a captain's hat? Pretty classy, wouldn't you say? No, I'm not. Now then. Now then, where were we? That monster's name is Bowser? Bowser. Bowser. Well, we'll chase him down in no time in the Odyssey. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Ground Pound. You can skip this if you want to. It's all right, telling us how to go. There it is, how to do Ground Pound. Some more in-game stuff. Very good. Yeah. Life has spoilers sometimes. And this Bowser seems like he's some kind of creep that would steal the priceless antiquity for a sham wedding. That is the plot of the Mario movie. Actually, the plot of most Mario the Mario games, isn't it? Sand Kingdom. Tough to Atop the highest tower. Maybe one notch. Okay, I can see why it's called the Sand King. <laughs> It's like a Dios de Muertos. Got a whole Mexican vibe going here. Hey, can we stop for nachos? I'd love some nachos right now. 
Actually, I think your mom made some chicken tortilla soup. I see that. I see that in my future tonight. Noise. Whoa. More motion control. Nice. All right, there's like a midway flag. What happens if you get in that moving sand down there? You get sucked under? You're a bullet bill? Yeah, bully. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah? No. Oh, oh, I see it. You just have to fly over. You've got a moon. You missed it. But I, yeah, I see what you. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. So you have full control of Bullet Bill. That's sweet. What happens if you ground pound that right there? Okay. That's what I thought. Love that. That's cool. So kind of like whipping your controller does something? Do I? Oh, oh, no way. Look at this. It's 2-bit on the... I mean, 8-bit on the wall. This is... I'd love to see this. This is like a, a Mario level from, you know, the NES version. This is cool stuff. You don't have to spend forever in here. And you can get out and turn uh, 3D again. Oh. Yeah, but can I show you something? Love it. <laughs> and gone up the wall in 3D. That's cool. Oh, this game is so... It's just so creative. Yeah, I like it. Oh, look at that. Look at that 8-bit. It's like moving wallpaper. And now you're part of it. Love it. What a cool way to ascend a tower. Oh yeah, be careful. Yes, you did. You had the full six and now you're down to three. Okay, there's a power move. I see it. That's why you're trying to ascend. Hello. Yeah, boy. We still have more Sand Kingdom to play, right? Okay. I might step up. All right, watch this. That's me. I'm moving Cappy. It's exciting stuff, right? Oh, oh wait. I, yeah, and I can move around. I, I, I got some coins, yeah? Uh, come on, Cappy. Come back. Uh, Cappy. There you go. Get back here. Uh, what does that do? Uh, it breaks his blocks. Love that. Oh, that's so cool. Uh-oh, uh you missed me. Uh. Yeah, uh, I didn't. I didn't. Did I? Well, you had to come back to it. So, yeah, we gotta read it up. Oh, you're welcome. Alright. Let's see what kind of trouble I can get us in this time. Got it. Are you? That was insane. Oh no! Oh, and that's the same noise from you know other Mario games. You know, that, that sound when you jump into the void. Oblivion. Alright, I'm gonna let you go do this one solo. Because I have a feeling I'll just mess you up. Oh, 
So you do want to go there. Is this part of what you need to do? Okay. My goodness, you're insane. You're, you're, what? 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 You're, you're out of your mind. Is that? Oh, uh, that's like more like a coin thing, not a power move. You got it. Oh, it's one. Of, it's one of those things. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> that is the goal, right? Get all the shards. Get a moon. The sub level. Yeah. Is this invisible ground? Oh, what are you walking on? Okay. Now, when you first played this game, yeah, probably not, right? You didn't know you could actually just walk across from pillar to pillar. Oh, no. So do you have to do that all again? Or do you even need to go that way? Another question. Is that purple liquid in that so-called pond, is that um, poisonous? Got it. Yeah, I'd say. That was instant death. That's why you need to become the little uh, totem dude. So you can walk through it. You have to become rock. Oh, dude, look at that. He's got a mustache. Love it. Shut up. That's cool. It's it's the it's the sunglasses. I think that's what gives them gives them the sight. She's got the sight. That's from twelve hundred. Um I think she says sight. Alright. Can I get a booyah? No, don't do that. Boo-naw. Yeah, boo-naw. Boo-naw. Alright. Here we go. Get a power moon. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a different color. I, know, well, yeah, I they're, noticed. They're, they're different colors in each kingdom. Got it. Upside down pyramid. Sweet. A showdown, a showdown on the inverted pyramid. Oh, well, that's kind of on the nose. That'll work. In the mushroom kingdom, <clears> how <throat> moons are a star. Right. Um, in. Uh, help me out. Sunshine, we call them shines. And what do we call them in galaxy? They have a different name? Stars? They were stars? Okay. No. I could have swore they had a slightly different name. Okay, there's a guy with a regular car. What the? Uh, he's from another kingdom called New Dawn City. Right, which yeah. is like full of actual humans. Okay, that was an easy one. Yeah, instead of like Coast Arena weird guys. Right. Okay, I know what this thing is. It is one of the bosses. Okay. Well, you're not, you're not spoiling it. Yeah. Inside the inverted pyramid. Mm hmm? Look, this is how I do it. You go A, Y, smash. Oh, what? Oh. Okay. A, Y, Z, And what does that do? So I do it like that. Good night. Wait, actually, I could just speed run this one. You're using your hat. Oh, crud. I mean, I could I, I stand it on for a dun, second. Dun, 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 dun. So when you die, you lose some of those coins. That's what I just saw. Right? The, the, those, in a way, equal extra lives. 
if you will. Okay. Yeah. Bullet bills. It's a bit time. Hidden block. Watch out for bo What? Oh, love it. Because I, I, I've done the up and down thing in yeah. another Mario games too. Yeah, just a Mario. That was that in Galaxy. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm thinking of. Um, I don't know if it was 3D World or if it was New Super Mario Brothers. You know what I mean? But no, it was definitely Galaxy. Right? Because I was playing Galaxy 1 and 2. Recently, in fact. And in that, you know, you'd be in one of the uh, worlds, right? One of the little planets, if you will, spheres. And you got me. And then have these up and down sections inside the sphere. Really cool gameplay. Only Nintendo, man. These are uh, some amazing level designs and game mechanics. Truly, truly cool stuff. Hmm? Uh, no, I'm uh, kind of doing a, I'm just talking, yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying watching you, yeah. I had, the last time I actually spun the cap away, you got killed, so I've been playing it kind of cautious here. Oh, here they are. Looking for that, you guys. Um, all right, what's her? What's her? Oh, she's got a. Oh, what's the medieval name for that? A mace. She's got a, a, a spiked mace. Cool. Oh, she's a delight. What what a graceful, kind soul. What a lovely lady. And now she runs away with her And yet, her laugh is straight out of the Wizard of Oz. Pour some water on it. Nice. Alright, so when she threw her spike ball. You knocked it back with with uh, Cappy. Mm -hmm. Got it. But uh, in my past, like, um, what's that? Two play things ago. Like when I was playing, guess what? Mm. Yeah, what? I I was I was just uh. Ignoring the bombs and dodging the bombs, uh, and then she pulled out these uh, uh, big. Yeah. She pulled out this one big bomb. It's yeah. purple. Uh -huh. It had a bunch of lava in it, and she uh, threw it, and then it and then it just launched, and it had a chain on it. Cool. And then, I guess. The hole in the desert. That. Yeah. That reminds me of uh, Tears of the Kingdom. There are these sinkholes, like in uh, Lake Halia, uh, over in the Gerudo Desert, right? And they look like they'd suck you down. In, but guess what? When you go down these sand swirly sinkholes, there's actual level down there, like sub-basements. Anyway, and that's what this reminds me of that. I love the little things that are similar between the Mario and Zelda games. Go ahead. You see that thing? I do. They are subterranean. And that, that, just sim sim that just simply means underground. I do see them. They're lovely. What a joy. I just wee wooed in there. I love the I love the look of this desert at night. It's very cool. Oh, 
this whole color scheme is uh, really pretty. Uh, there, there it is. So you lose 206, uh, 10, 10 coins, okay. You're welcome, I helped you then. Sorry. Yes, hey, hold, look at the camera. Let me, let me see him. Oh, he's cool. And, and I can actually throw the hat while I'm a Goomba, while you're a Goomba. Uh, sorry, that's not, what's that? What were you trying to do? Like, you know how I can stop the screen and take a picture? Yes. Oh, well, I just captured a picture. No, I'm talking about, like, oh. you can stop it and look around while nothing's moving and no music. There's a bunch of controls so you can just take a Oh, for real? Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, no, I just want to capture it. What? That's cool. You're a whole stack of Goombas? Mm -hmm. Here, look at the camera. Alright. I got a picture. Alright, go. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't win them all. Uh, you're cold? I mean, given that you lose, yeah, it's helpful to get them. I can see that. What? Okay, no, no, no. Now tell me real quick. Did you just throw the hat at the stack, and then you take the stack? Okay, and I see now that the stack actually lets you get to a higher place. Okay. No, I helped you. There you go. Oh, you, can, I, want, you, I want me some coins today. I'm gonna get me some You can ground pound the whole thing. Oh, I love it. It's satisfying, too. Uh, yeah, it is. It's almost as fun as Bok Goblin Bowling. Oh, yeah. If, if you guys haven't seen it yet, I have an entire series of videos where what I do is called Bok Goblin Bowling. So in Tears of the Kingdom... I ride around as Link on Epona, the horse, and I take out red Bok Goblins for fun, as if they're bowling pins. And uh, my latest record, oh. my latest record is 29 in one session, in one game. I'd love to get a 30, but for now, 29 is pretty awesome. So anyway, Bok Goblin Bowling, check it out. I'm also, I also do daily Amiibo videos as well, 30 different Amiibos. So, here we go. So, do we have to use him to, all right, to get across? That makes sense. Shaking your controller gives you a speed up. Is that what you were doing? Well, I was also pressing Y. Okay. So why were you? What does Y do? No, seriously. Got it. Yeah, this looks like a boss arena. Waringo. This reminds me of this reminds me of Bongo 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 and um, Ocarina of Time. Two giant hands. Yeah, this was a, except we couldn't do that. Becoming the hand to actually punch him, that's really cool. Oh, 
we're gonna need some heart soon. Is that a heart under there? Can you ground pound to get it? Oh, he he does it. Got it. Oh, you have complete control over that. That's some sweet stuff. Oh, there's a heart. Get that sucker. Yeah, you're probably gonna have to. He's going, You're great! Good job! Where Ringo? And Paul and John. That's horrible job. Alright, now you're fist. Here we go, here we go. You have to, I think, it, yeah, elude those crystal things. Oh. Almost. I'm usually up. It's okay. Just keep playing. I know. It's believe me. There's something about playing this, you know, and, and sharing it with everyone, where I, I mess up too, in times where I normally even wouldn't. So. Nice hit. See, I told you he was a boss. See that? Is, how many? Like three power moons with him? Sweet. In this video. Yeah, Nate. But Nate hid some Easter eggs around in and in near us, so. Yeah. Oh, if we keep up this pace, we'll catch Bowser in no time. Do we have enough power moons to reach the next kingdom? If you want to check, put me on a globe. Well, I can also check here when you need that one. That's one, true. two, three, one, six. We have ten so far. Let's get these purple coins. And then Cappy says. That was cool. You got a moon. Having to crack my neck because it's down. It do be hurting. I'm sorry, kid. I said, how many more power moons do you want to do for this one? Really? So how about that? We'll get we'll get we'll get the rest, okay? And then we'll sign off. Cause my goodness, we could play for 48 hours straight. But this is definitely just part one so far. I did. That was some cool stuff. Okay, you missed it. Right. Oh, it was right back there. Yeah. That's cool. Now, what are you pressing to do that? A. So, A, it's kind of like a jump mm -hmm. from the wire. Okay. Now, is that a moon you've already gotten, I take it? That's why it's uh, clear? Okay, hello. You've become some kind of bug moth thing? Uh, wh what is this creature? <laughs> oh, it's a pterodactyl. It's a flying lizard. You got a moon. The treasure of Jaxie Ruins. Which also has some awesome shades. See? See those shades? I do. Those are the nose re reading glasses kind of thing. Down. Oh, 
There's a speed running trick yeah. to get all the way to that. You got a moon. So There's a speed running trick to get all the way to that, all the way to that kingdom. Yeah. It's by doing this trick. Oh, wait, not like this. Oh, but over and over again in the sky. Well, well tell me this. We're in another place that requires 20 power moons. Have you given, have we given up on the sand place and getting that last power moon? No? Okay. Or does this power moon count towards our total for... It does count. Towards, uh, you know, towards the Odyssey airship. It does. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, no. All right, now I see what you're doing. Thank so you. probably have one more left. So that is a portal. Oh. Which is a lot like oh. Mario 64. Wait, jumping inside a picture. Wait, yeah. It did not count. We actually need power moons from this area. I take it. Okay, yeah, where the heck are you going now? <laughs> what? Okay. Because yeah. electricity. Yeah. All right. Now we're up here to get the last two pounds. What? Love it. One more to go. This is that was great. Should we get that one? Right. Which one? Right. right. I don't know. I mean, it, you're you're guiding me. So, are you telling me that this area has more than one more available? But we just need one more? Is that how it works? Mm -hmm. Okay. Scarecrow? Mm -hmm. That is like Ocarina of Time. There's so many cool little similarities. If you know what to look for. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Good job. All right, so you just got all this memorized, don't you? Oh, no, don't don't apologize. It's fantastic. And, and now you're just showing off because we have enough. But it's like, yeah, let's get some more. Why not? We're going above and beyond. But that was the minimum we need for Odyssey to have the power to go to a next area. Is that how it works? There's a Sphinx. That's a uh, pretty darn good uh, recreation. What is that thieving monster desire from this land? Oh, the Sphinx is talking? You are correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. Anywho, proceed. He just said that. Sorry, Mr. Sphinx. Sphinx. The one who gallops across the sand. How many coins are required to get on his back? It's a 30. Hmm, yes, correct. I wonder about Rito. The foreign visitor traveling by car, who, the, what stopped his journey? Ice. I knew that one. Yeah, because we literally just saw mm -hmm. a car stuck in the rock. I have been saving this one. Answer me this. Atop the inverted pyramid, how many statues of sand gallopers are there? It's a five. That's correct. But, do you really know that? There, there were six. One is gone, leaving five. Yeah, I tried to show you. Hmm. Did you guess? You guessed, didn't you? You're a guesser. Nope. I did not guess. I knew that by, by Persistent. Very well. It's time for the real test. This will be your final question. And no more guessing. What is my name? It's a Sphinx. Oh, God! Oh, God! 
<laughs> you, you got them all right. Everyone falls eventually, I suppose. Well done. Well, take this. I get the power moon. Mm, I just want one more power. Let's go inside. And also, let's get a bunch of coins. Sweet. I love them when they stack them like that. I think what is it that uh, 3D World has stacks? Is that, is that the one? I think it, yeah. I get the power moon. I just like power moons, yeah. That is a cool trick. Hmm. <laughs> I love the Goombas in the hat. Oh, yeah. It toasted my buns. <laughs> I love it. A Goomba with sombrero. That's so adorable. A sunny brero. I went to school with a Sunny Bro. He was a nice guy. We got him Sunny B. Okay. Question. What? Look, you just filled out. Oh, I, I, I'm not even paying attention. It's actually adding them to the total up there, isn't it? That is so cool. So we have all twenty. What? What? What is that? I don't know. Are we gonna report back to our airship? Oh, oh, that's just my airship. Yeah. Oh, I have 17. Okay, Yeah, what is 17 of you? Show us. Oh. 17 purple coins. We're gonna go into the crazy caps today. Cool. We're gonna look for their items, but I need one item. Now, spending, spending this stuff in here. Oh, well, these are, right, that's, these are the coins, right? Mm -hmm. Can you spend power moons, or is it just the purple things? Purple coins and also just coins. Got it, got it, okay. And then you're buying new clothes. Wait, oh, I forgot to put them. Here, Sunny Now we're styling. Yeah, now we're styling. This is ridiculous. The reason I got this is just to join the party. Because <laughs> there's a rock on there. What? And you have to be dressed up? By the way, hmm? in Tears of the Kingdom, there's a lady that checks your style. It, the similarities across these games are just like little. All right, you playing music? That's cool. I mean, I guess is it just for fun? What? No, no, it's not. You just got a power moon. So that actually accomplished something. Okay, enough with. The okay, power it just added another one. Yep. Okay, we need to start with the power. Moon. Yeah, let's let's report back to our airship. Okay. So you have a total of twenty-one. That's a good number. Let's leave it at 21. I just like to call it. I mean, who doesn't, really? <laughs> oh, no way, you're... You've got to be kidding me. 22. 22 and 1. That's a, I mean, I could have played this for six days straight, right? And on day seven, I still wouldn't have found that power moon. That was very cool. You're showing me things that I never 
question. It needs 16 more and we have 22. So I think we're good. <laughs> of course we are. This is, pro this is probably in. The Odyssey has powered up. Okay. So. Next time we're going to do the next world. Uh oh. We've hit the proverbial fork in the road. Which kingdom do you think Bowser went to? Well, let us know in the comments. Okay, I'm joking. Yeah, seriously. Um, let us know in the comments. But um, which one do you want to take, Nate? You have a preference? Uh, I think we should do Lake because okay. every time I play the game, I've done Lake first. Yeah, we're doing that. The Lake Kingdom, splendid. Wait, that says we have 27 power moons. Well, oh, no, yeah, or we need yeah. that. Go ahead. No, no, no total seven, 27 power moons. Oh, because that's what we have. All right, so we had 22 from the sand, right? That means we had five from the other places, right? I think New Dock City, we got one. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's grand total across all levels, all worlds. Okay, well, here, why don't you land us at that place? And then, we'll and, 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 then we'll, and then we'll call it quits for tonight. Here we go. That's right, you do have school tomorrow. He just, he just said his catchphrase, let's go. Let's go. That was awful. Let's go. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I guess we're. He kidnapped Tiara. And now this binding man. He's got a wedding ring. Is he going to steal the whole wedding? Seeing as we got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Homing cap throw. After throwing your cap, shake the controller. Okay. Your cap will fly towards the nearest target you can see. Super handy when your aim is a little off. Well, there it is. Next, let's read up with the Lake Kingdom. The Lock Lady Dress. Okay. <laughs> the Lake Kingdom. Lake Lemon. Oh, I've, I've seen you do this level before. We will do this in the next video. Brutals over the lake. That makes sense. But after after throwing your cap, shake it. Is it bringing it back quickly? Is that oh, it's homing. Okay, got it. That's cool. All right, there we go. That was super fun. That was super fun. Are you showing us one more thing? Nope. Okay. Thank you, Nathan. That was fun, educational. You learned me up. You taught me a lot. And uh, and that was really cool. You're very good at Odyssey. Uh-huh. And like I said, I'm a complete noob. A complete novice with this one. And uh, uh, Nate right now is showing me that we have 584. We have 584 mm -hmm. coins. Mm -hmm. In this this world or level has at least eight power moons that we can get. And I thought we were I thought we were done for now, but uh, you know Nate's unstoppable. Once he gets going, he can't stop. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us. This was cool. Mario's playing a song for us. Okay. Anything else? Okay. We just end the video. Okay. Oh. Why don't you get a close up of it? Okay. All right, guys. Anyway, thank you again. And with that, Mario is gonna play us out with a lovely song. You guys have been awesome. Don't forget. 
Leia, Lando, Toys of the Day, Vintage, 40-year-old also, Rosalina, Plush of the Day. And guess what? Easter eggs. One was right here. We got a Mario right next to the Odyssey. One was way back. Nathan hit another one. Oh, back there. Yep. Baby Mario. Here, I'm, I'm trying to point to it. Yeah, but over here. Here we go. Yeah, and if you look right here. Yep. Yeah. Let me move my chair. On the Triforce? Yes, on the Triforce right back there. You can see Luigi. Yes, he Luigi. hit a Luigi. Or Ouija. Oh, yeah. So, yes, those were the three Easter eggs that uh, we planted around our little studio here. So, I thank you. Nathan, thanks you. It means a lot that you spent this time with us. Um, in life, it gets crazy, hectic, sometimes things are really difficult. Guess what? Escapism, I think, is important. Having fun is important. Even when you're an adult, remembering the fun you had as a kid is important. That's why I love playing games. That's why I love playing games with Nate. And that's why we love sharing these experiences with you. Because it's a time to get away and, and have some fun and live in a little fantasy land. And sometimes you just got to lay back, close your eyes, and enjoy life. Which is what Mario's doing right now. So with that, taking us out is our boy Mario. Playing a song. That he, he, Anyway, guys, thanks again. You guys have been great. You guys have been great. Signing off. You guys have a good night, okay? And we'll see you next time. Join us for part two. Go to Nate's video game channel. I'm Loud Boy. Take care.